In the shadowy realms of 16th century Japan, a legend was born, Miyamoto Musashi, a name that would echo through the ages like the clash of unsheathed steel. The year was 1584, the air thick with the essence of destiny, and the young Musashi, born in the Harima province, had yet to fathom the extraordinary path fate had laid before him. A mere peasant son, toiling in the fields with his father, Musashi's destiny took an abrupt turn at the tender age of seven. A rift severed the familial bond, thrusting the boy into the unforgiving embrace of uncertainty. Seeking refuge with his uncle, the priest Dorin, Musashi found solace within the walls of a Buddhist temple. Little did he know, his journey would transcend meditation and tranquility, evolving into a dance of blades and the pursuit of mastery. Restless and yearning for the secrets of the sword, Musashi convinced his uncle to pass on the ancient art. A mere teenager, he confronted the formidable Arima Kihei in a public challenge. The clash was brutal, and Musashi's quarterstaff became an instrument of destiny as he struck down his opponent without mercy, his path bathed in the blood of the fallen. The winds of war soon swept across Japan, and Musashi, now a seasoned warrior, found himself entangled in the fierce conflict between the Toyotomi and Tokugawa clans. Despite his prowess on the battlefield, the tides turned against his allegiance, forcing him to retreat to the sacred grounds of Mount Hiko. There, amidst meditation and reflection, the boy became a man, honing his skills for the battles that lay ahead. At the age of 20, Musashi emerged from the shadows and descended upon the Yoshioka Martial Arts School in Kyoto. The legend grew as he faced off against the formidable Yoshioka Seijuro, leaving a trail of broken bodies and a disgraced warrior school in his wake. The birth of the Nitanichi sword style marked the evolution of a lethal force, a phantom warrior striking fear into the hearts of all who dared cross his path. A warrior's pilgrimage from 1605 to 1612 saw Musashi traverse the length and breadth of Japan, leaving a trail of defeated foes in his wake. Spear techniques of the Hozoin Temple, the star-fighting mastery of Muso Gonusuke, and the deadly chainsickle wielded by Shishido Baikan all fell before his relentless advance. Musashi, the Invincible, etched his legend in the annals of combat. The year 1612 brought forth a duel that would resonate through history. The clash of titans between Musashi and the revered Sasaki Kojiro, the demon of the West Provinces, on the desolate Funajima Island, the two warriors met in a symphony of steel. The late arrival, the crushing blow, and the severed headband. Musashi's legend soared to new heights, leaving the world in awe of his indomitable skill. In 1614, the fires of war once again engulfed Musashi as the Toyotomi family faced the wrath of Tokugawa Ieyasu. Yet, he emerged unscathed, resilient as ever, the years that followed saw Musashi settle in the Harima province, imparting his martial wisdom to eager disciples. As the sun dipped below the horizon of his life, Musashi engaged in fewer duels, his skill undiminished. A man of not just the sword, but of profound wisdom, he graced castles with his presence, leaving lords and peasants alike hanging on his every word. Musashi, the living legend, turned to the brush and ink, capturing his life's journey on canvas and parchment. In 1633, as the whispers of time surrounded him, Musashi reflected on a life steeped in the essence of the warrior. His paintings and writings became a testament to perfection, a mirror reflecting the soul of a man who had transcended the mortal realm and become a legend for the ages.